199 yes this is 199 i did another other 198 episode and actually did some more tutorials before but in this series this episode 199 i'm closing the year right now it's december 30th i'm gonna publish it in 31st so this is the last episode of this year 2020 a year to remember for the good the bad and the interesting that happened this year but guys i want to close the year in a bit of a different fashion 105 bpm gonna make some ambient chill some really relaxed music which i like to believe i do well guys i did an album that's called explorers that's a very interesting take on this with some electronic orchestral instrument blend together so check it out guys Mikas Explorers available everywhere. Just saying, you know, self plug for a second. Anyway, guys, so this is also episode 12 of our same chord session. This is the last one, too, because we're going to close this other chapter. So, this is the 12th track that I make with the same chord progression. They all came out completely different, of course, because I changed the BPM, the instrument, but the root of the track is this chord progression that we're going to use again today. If you guys didn't know, every single episode of our live electronic music tutorials comes with a template. That means I'm gonna make the session with you guys, get the free tutorial, then I turn it into a template. Of course, I put on some more work to it, and I put it on our site, We Make Dance Music, for only five bucks. So basically, get a tutorial. If you like the track, maybe you want to, you know, sponsor me something, or you want to do this type of music, you get the template, you really can master the song with that. And that's it, guys. Let's get started into this new episode of your life, Electro Music Tutorial. So, same chord, yet again, however, I changed, of course, the, the preset of the synth. There's a nice amount of air with the filter there, very, very nice. So guys, this is what we're gonna start with today. It's, it's gonna be chill, 105 percussions, maybe. A lot of ambiences, definitely. Uh, you know, I want to take it easy. So the first thing I'm gonna do is definitely add like a low pad to this to really get. Ah, almost work already. Let's go into the EQ to see what we have. Let's bring it a little bit more around 100. It's good because it has a lot of the same tone. I think this is a very good start. I think we also need like a bass. I'm gonna take the same. I said we need, I mean, I'm not really. I'm gonna take the same and, and I'm gonna bring it here. I'm gonna go into pad again and I want something more mid lowy a little bit. nice but not what I am looking for Oof. That is deep not much change here let's see if we bring it up no not quite it's is cool but Close. Oh, well, perfect pad. I mean, it has to be perfect. Yep, just at the top. So we have the low, and then you have the mid. I'm 
almost tempted to straight up record a piano into that. Maybe a bit of a different piano. Oh, I'm not gonna take this channel. I'm gonna take this top channel here. Uh, piano, but like a digital alchemy piano y kind of thing. So we're gonna do send bus, create a send bus. Drop a reverb on it. If you watch other episodes, you're gonna notice how I usually do when I start and I want to record a lead. I'm gonna go in alchemy. Is there a piano in alchemy? There's no piano, all right. There's keys, organs. Huh. Maybe I'll try some keys then. So if you have seen, guys, I don't use a keyboard. I'm planning on getting one though, it's coming. But as of uh, the first 200 episode, I didn't use a keyboard. I think it would be sad to start using a keyboard now, I think. But I somehow feel some people don't take me seriously because I don't have like a big fat studio with all the gear. But the gear doesn't make the music, it's the guy that does the music. So just listen to a few more episodes if you have doubts. set my reverb to grandiose so it was a bit blend better so the chords are in E I think it would be good to have a bit more room to be able to play. For me, this type of music that the lead could could expand definitely into a few bars. If you want to do something. I like this, it's a bit vangelicy. First take, not sure if it's gonna stay, but I, I, do, I do like the ideas at least. So we can always play with it. I like this this electric piano with the big reverb, like this kind of ambience thing works for me now at least. Somehow I heard something I like, if I would add this one here, I guess. So this is how most people that make music with computer actually make the music. tempted to add a bit more Probably 
add another head here to close it in style with a little bit of the same feel as before. It's a bit sad, which is good, I think. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not quite there yet. <laughs> Better. Yep. There's a lot of reverb which make the keys kind of, you know, hit, kind of resonate together, which I don't like so much. So we're gonna fix that, but. Try different presets. Ooh. I like this woody. I think now I will have what well, I will have. I, I do feel like getting creative a little bit. So I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna drop the percussions. I'm dropping the MIDI. I thought this is gonna be low. Oh, it's Tom high, Tom low. It's not that low. No, that's low. That's very low, it's too low, this is good. What if I drop an ARP on there? A bit too fast, but... It, but what, the only thing that I want out of this really is the low end. I just want some. Do, 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 do. Like a heartbeat is beating really fast. I think you can feel it. Uh, I'm gonna continue on this little creative streak here and I'm gonna use Actually I wanted the crash, not the hats This time I'm not gonna use the same idea, so I'm gonna do a reverb, so it's gonna be very, I'm gonna send it a lot, so it's gonna be very spacey. So I'm sending the signal completely to the Of course, the fun thing about what I'm doing too is that the crash is in tune with, with the melodies, so it hit the same keys as what's happening here, so if I drop that... I think what we need now is to go kind of all out a little bit with a massive, massive pad, or maybe some strings. So for that, 
I will just create like a bigger chord. So I'm gonna go like a super big chord with the same. So one, there you go. That's one whole octave up with the one that I had before. And then I was, I thought for a second of some strings. So I wanted to go pick up some acoustic strings, but I think I will just pick some, some electronic strings. I'm gonna make sure, I'm gonna redo it again because I might have messed up. 12 semitone, thank you. Okay. So with this 12 semitone, it should be pure enough to fit. I but that's better a little bit higher. Mega strings, this is what we're looking for. Mm, yeah, not excellent. Good, but not excellent. Whoa. Creepy, but not quite. Ooh. Not like. Gonna be a bit tough to mix where we're at now. Take this main lead out, drop the crash, drop this for now. No, I like this actually. That is deep. to go into alchemy vocals there's a lot of weird and interesting stuff in alchemy and then I'm gonna process it into something something like this thinking I'm thinking an arp on there let's 
trippy, I think, with an ARP. I like that I don't like it anymore, so let's go and check out. Oof. Like this, but probably like the little triplets with from the harp in there is very nice. I think it's gonna need a bit more. It's a bit weird because it's off, but I like it. It's, it has this strange kind of puts you. It's a bit disconcerting. I think I'm gonna drop an effect on there since we're doing ambient. You can really do like it's I like this genre, there's no there's no boundaries or anything like that. Very nice in the mix with this. All right, guys. So let's continue to move onto this track. So this with the mega strings now. Very focused. This little lead of ours here, a little piano. And to go dark, I would probably take this and maybe drop 
drop this here is a bit unnecessary for this part. Oh, oh wait. No, this is actually the base. This other one here is more of the mid lows. Let's hear it now. Oof. This tom is like shattering. Also play with this here. I can add to this to make it interesting maybe like a really long something I clap like this into a delay designer a very long Super complex delays. <laughs> All that with only one clap. in the back I would even make it a little bit more abstract sending it to this reverb we have this think just one so we're gonna build I think we start building the track a little bit just to put some ideas down of where is gonna be and I'm not gonna start with this main lead of course I'm gonna start more with okay I'm gonna start with much less than this and not this either I'm gonna start super slow just with this I was wondering if I would start with this or the chords and I think I will go with the chords here with more arrangement of course Beautiful For that I will wait, I will wait much further, we still have a lot of room Just when people are really relaxed and excited, then I'm gonna bring the boom, 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 boom. So one, two, three, four. I think I would bring this here. I'll start cutting this here. 
going to the main part here with the lead without the top. You're gonna hear it well when it's gonna kick in. One, two, three, four. So all right guys, I'm gonna put in some more work into this track, turn it into a template, put it on our site, we make nesquiz.com, of course. And this is the end of the year, guys. Wish you guys a very, very fruitful 2021, because 2020 was, well, a year to remember, I would like to say. And until